Ladies and gentlemen, this is not your ordinary restaurant. The Robot Cafe in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. That's where we are today on yet another episode of Tech Wave with me, Teddy Otieno. Now joining me is my friend and he introduces me to the whimsical world of robots. I'm not an expert in everything and anything to do with robots, robotics or the Internet of Things. But I'm here for an experience that's never been seen before. Welcome. Yes, John. Hi, how are you? Thank you very much. Yes. Welcome to Robot Cafe. Thank you. Wow, and just like that, food is here. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye. So John, yeah. tell me, when did you guys uh, start this? Uh, basically, we opened out to the public on 16th of June. 16th of June this year? Yeah, this okay. year. And then, um, but it's been quite some time. It's wow. an idea that has been running on the mm. background for quite some time. Uh -huh. So a lot of challenges before we actually got everything running. Okay. But um, we persevered and right. uh, now we have this, we don't regret it. Mm -hmm. It's a concept that people has really embraced. Yeah. People love it. The turnout has been amazing. We actually cannot even, we don't have enough space most of the time for holding most of the people who are coming up. Yeah. So we actually been making arrangement to expand the space this week, probably beginning today. Oh. So by the time we, um, we see it's, it's an outdoor space. Mm -hmm. There's so, so much, there is no much that needs to be done. It's just probably expanding it. Uh, making the ambience look as good and uh, get some more seats and that we have the restaurant running. So tell me, tell me about the robot itself. Um, how do you prompt it to carry out certain activities? Uh, so uh, this is a technology probably that I haven't seen myself before. Yeah. And uh, it's something that we had to embrace when we came to learn about the concept in most of the developed countries. And we thought, so why not have it in Kenya? Why not have the first robot cafe in East Africa and the third one in Africa? Yeah. So um, we went out there and we researched and we got up with this. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's amazing. It's actually wowed us after we learned what it can do. Basically, yeah. it uses, uh, it uh, incorporates AI mm -hmm. and LIDAR system. Once you program it, it's basically like what, um, it, AI basically it's what, whatever it is you teach is, it learns. Uh -huh. It's artificial intelligence. Right. So whatever you teach is, it keeps it in, within itself. So right now we've only programmed them to uh, uh, host customers, serve customers, attend happy birthday if you are, uh, 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 like whatever it is, occasion wow. you might have. Uh -huh. It will come and sing to you if it's your birthday. It will come and acknowledge that you did a reservation and you have a birthday. And sing happy mm -hmm. birthday when it's delivering a cake, probably oh. like the cake you're having right now. Yeah. It says, welcome to Robot Cafe. Oh, speaking of the so, cake, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at this, there's the dynamics of, uh, you know, working with human beings. Mm -hmm. And then there's this. Mm -hmm. By the way, I mean, reason moja in a easy chalewa yeah, job. It can't come to work late. <laughs> it can't come to work late. It actually don't come to work. He lives here. <laughs> <laughs> they actually sleep at work. Uh, but then there's also the cost effectiveness. Yeah, is it less costlier to maintain it than having like real stuff, human beings and stuff? Robots are not going to be cheap because these are not things you're going to get locally. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, also, it's not things that you're going to just get from anywhere. It's, you have to outsource really good. Yeah. And um, in terms of malfunctioning, like things like that, like coming late and all that wouldn't happen because they actually live here. Mm -hmm. They don't have to go home, they can't complain, they're overworking or everything like that. It's just like any uh, uh, electric uh, gadget you have. Mm -hmm. you just connect it to power, let it charge overnight, the following morning, whatever it is you can manage to do, that is what it does. So, but of course we understand that there is no way, uh, you, as much as we we'll want to incorporate uh, technology, so whatever things that we are in our daily activities, it's not actually practical to have only robots and not 
uh, exactly. the human touch. Oh yeah. So there is a misconception whereby some people might think we have mm -hmm. robots just to subsidize on maybe lower the budget of mm. salaries and all that. This, these things are not cheap. They're not cheap. They are not cheap. And so how long does it take for you to charge it? You um, actually we charge them overnight. Overnight. Yeah. If we charge it once overnight, and they run throughout the day, and there is no even one day that we've recharged it when it's. Uh, uh, oh, like really? less than 50 percent charge mm, so mm. their batteries are really good they are actually i've never even seen one day it malfunctioning so uh -huh. when you say maintenance and things like that maybe mm. not unless the, the the wheels or something are like are tied up with something that mm -hmm. you can actually do yourself mm -hmm. and, and i've never seen anything like that or no. maybe let's say wi-fi disconnects that is yeah. something because they have to have a type of connection okay and you see if wi-fi disconnects and it connects once again um it gets back online as fast i've okay. seen you i've seen you use a gadget mm -hmm. or perhaps it's a tab mm -hmm. uh, that you're now controlling it with yeah so oh, uh, so now that's where the wi-fi comes in so yeah they, they connect you uh, they, they have a wireless connection with our okay. gadgets okay so probably now the gadgets might run off turn off like they they are, don't have charge and all the gadgets of course doesn't have to keep as, as much charge as the robots so in a scenario where that happens that is probably when you're gonna have to get the command center because that is the uh, command base of the robot the mm -hmm. tablet the POS system the computer whatever it is you decide to use but uh, basically once you map them during the day you uh, like assign them duties just by the tap of a button like right. this we saw was table three you send it to deliver food to table three it will come here you send it back to the kitchen to collect something mm -hmm. it knows where the kitchen is it finds you on the road like there is something supposed to like uh, be on its way it will know that is a person because it's full of sensors everywhere it mm -hmm. will tell that there is a person that can't be able to move forward and it will keep telling you the robot is working hard <laughs> the pudding robot is working hard or something like that <laughs> yeah and then you're gonna probably excuse it or something like that right so this wow that's, that, that's kind of you <laughs> and uh you know now let's talk about uh, some of the policy issues that you may have had along the way as you're trying to come up with this idea you know this is a fresh idea and you know with every new idea there's bound to be a couple of new challenges. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what are some of these challenges? So some of the challenges, there is no, nothing that says we can't have robots because uh, we, 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 the, the, if it's, it's only going to be a problem if we're mm -hmm. going to hire robots in a country mm -hmm. like Kenya where most of people are jobless. Right. So if you only hire robots and do not have higher waitresses, because for instance, these ones, we only allow them to serve food mm. and the waiters serve drinks. So the waiters are almost the same number, but they don't have to do as much. So they work together with them mm -hmm. instead of having the waiters do so much at the end of the day and they can help have as much help because if the customers love them, why not give them? Because if you're going to open a restaurant right now in Nairobi, we have a, a, a good number of them. Yeah. People have good food. You go out sure. there, you explore, people can cook good food. Mm -hmm. But then the question is always about um, what, 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 is, what is something new that I can be able to bring to the market? something that I don't have to replicate because yeah. most of the people are just copy-pasting, copy-pasting, copy-pasting. You can have a steak anywhere. Most of the steaks are good. You know the quail theory? Yeah. Where we all went into quail farming. Yeah, exactly. And I'm pretty <laughs> and sure I'm going to meet some robots. Yeah, probably. We wouldn't be surprised if we see some other people bringing robots into mm -hmm. Kenya. And um, if it works for them, and uh, we wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, have problems with that because you just know <laughs> we are the first robot cafe in Kenya. So John, you're assuring me that yeah. um, no jobs are going to be lost, Brother. even with the advent of uh, robots. Mm. What Brother, are the my job? We are actually hiring. We can work with them. We are actually hiring them at the moment if you have experience. Ah. Yeah, yeah. If you have experience mm -hmm. with whatever it is, services that are being product, uh, done in the restaurant, mm -hmm. just share your information with us. Yeah. We always hire okay. because we're growing every day. Yeah. And, uh, Growth means we bring more robots and also we bring more people mm -hmm. because there is no way the service industry mm -hmm. can survive without a human touch. Mm -hmm. These things do not have sorts. Yeah, there is no way you're gonna sit here and have a conversation with me. Yeah. You're gonna be a weird if you're gonna be sitting in your house having a conversation with Siri. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, John. Uh, for all that information. I feel like I've understood what robots are all about and what Robot Cafe is all about. And for you, our viewer, robots are clearly here to stay. AI, technology, all is advancing every single day. And with us here at TechWave, we'll be sure to let you know what's happening in the world out here. 
But for me and John, we really want to enjoy this cheesecake, but we don't want company. So what do we do? Goodbye. Bye. Thank you.